Paula Toady. And I'm Kyle Inskeep. A Coleraine Township woman gets her day in court after she took her flute to a repair woman who ended up pawning it. And uh, since we first told you about Pat North and Cincinnati Flute Works, more people have come forward saying that North won't return their flutes. Mm. Anjanette Levy is here with new information for our, from our exclusive investigation. Anjanette, what have you learned? Well, Paula, since our first story aired five weeks ago, at least five people have contacted me via email saying that Pat North won't return their instruments. Today, North was in small claims court, but she wasn't there for long. Chris Hawk spent part of her morning in small claims court, pleading her case against Pat North and Cincinnati Flute Works. I've been taking my flute to Miss North, Cincinnati Flute Works, for 30 years. As we told you in August, Hawk took her flute to North for repair in June of 2018. When North wouldn't return it, Hawk got a tip that it was in a pawn shop. North claimed it was a mistake. Did you get your flute back? I bought it back because that was the only way I could. For the $5,000 that they paid her, plus tax, which came to five three three seven fifty. Magistrate Melissa West awarded Hawk a judgment for the full amount, and North left the hearing before it even started. She came into the courtroom. She was behind me. And then she left? Yes, she did. We went to North's new store, but she wasn't there, so we went to her house. North wasn't there either. Meanwhile, Carissa Martis says North has her flute. She refuses to allow me to come pick up my flute. Martis showed us paperwork that North gave her when she agreed to repair the flute on August 15th. She said North wanted a deposit up front in cash, so she gave her $84, and now she can't get her flute back. The first three weeks, it was she had a heart attack and been in the hospital. Well, this week, it is a broken tooth and an exposed nerve. It is very fresh and it's a very big investment for me, and I'm also quite attached to my flute. I play it multiple times every week. Back at small claims court, Chris Hawk hopes she'll get the $5,300 the court says Pat North now owes her. I wanted to do this for closure. I wanted so that I felt like I did everything I could. Um, I have my flute back. Um, I will may or may not ever see that money, but I wanted to feel like it was over for me and I can move on. Two additional customers have filed small claim suits against Pat North, and while they may receive a judgment, there's really no guarantee that they will ever get the money that they're owed. North has now opened a new business, and she's calling it Flute Stuff and Essentials. Paula? All right, thanks, Anna.